Good evening, everybody. Camper King fans, customers, ambassadors, visitors. How are you? Just thought we'd start off by um, basically saying what we're going to do here in the next kind of 25 minutes. Um, we are coming from you, obviously coming here live from Camper King HQ. We're going to show you each and every one of the models that we have available to you as well. And, uh, and we're going to um, obviously talk you through what each one of them is for, unique selling points, show you a little bit around the showroom, because we are in a just typical day of Camper King today. And uh, yeah, let's start from there. We uh, have a wonder. So we're actually starting off in the configurator lounge here. So if you did a little twirl for me there and have a look around, we do have all the different sample boards and options for customers to come here and, uh, and choose their camper vans. Moving around very slowly. <laughs> and then you've got all your choices of all your flooring and your cupboards. And you can go from wood effects through to nice, light, glossy effects as well. And of course, you've got plenty of choices of wheels. So the one, uh, the one good thing is, is you'll do very, very well to find two camper fans at the same. I'm back. Cool. So this is where we bring people in to spec their vans. They can have discussions, they can have punch-ups, they can have whatever they need to in here. This is their space, nice and separate. And uh, this is where camper vans are built and visualised. Follow me. We're going to go have a look. So we are going to start just here. And this model <laughs> is our Monte Carlo. Okay, so the Monte Carlo is actually the longest serving member of the camping range. It was here from day one. Okay, it's had a couple of tweaks and alterations throughout. But if you come and have a look inside, I'll show you some of that. So we've got a nice bed set up in this one here. This has actually got a rock and roll bed in it. This will actually fold up straight into a seat. So therefore, in this particular one, you have four seat belts. You can, if you want to, change your single seat to a double seat. So you've got five seat belts in the, uh, in the Monte Carlo. Um, you've got a bed just up there as well, and a bed down here. So it does sleep four as a full bed. The main thing about the Monte Carlo is the grill option that you have in here. The grill is obviously gas powered, so that means that you are not reliant on having hookup. You can stay off the grid, you can have your toasties or anything that you want to pop in the grill itself. Um, always has been and always will be a fantastic option for anybody that wants to uh, get out and about. The other thing with the, uh, the Monte Carlo, of course, is it got, it's got more storage than any of the other models that we do. So all of the lockers that you can see you can store things inside but they've got complete through storage in and out and plenty of depth as well so if you're after a van with loads and loads of storage monte carlo is one for you for sure all right one of the uh, the latest models to the lineup very very similar to Monte Carlo with a couple of exceptions so we don't tend to dress the the Saint Tropez up the ones that you see on the website as much as you do with the Monte Carlo uh, we try and keep the price point steady on a Saint Tropez and what we've done is actually substituted the uh, grill that's on the Monte Carlo with an additional storage cupboard in here as well so if you don't want to cook in your van or you don't want the snails or anything like that then the Saint Tropez is the perfect replacement. So as you can see in here, storage covered in here instead of a grill, but of course you still get your 50 litre fridge and freezer, you still get your double burner hob with a sink on top, all the same storage cupboards, but of course these ones have ambient lighting and plenty of storage for bits inside as well. And on both the Monte Carlo and the Saint Tropez, you get wireless charging pads, two seater rock and roll beds, and you can see just in the front here you've got the single and the double configuration. So, Going back to what I said earlier, you've got the five seat configuration. Cool, all good. Moving swiftly on. So, short wheelbase Monte Carlo. So what we've just seen in here is uh, the first one, we've got a long wheelbase Monte Carlo and that's the porta potty extension. So it's actually got a housing in a box for the porta potty with the cushion on top. This is the same type of variation, but in the short wheelbase, okay? So what happens is at the end of the fridge here, 
effectively where the chassis of the van is that bit shorter, you lose that bit of storage in there. Everything else from the fridge back is exactly the same. You've got your double burner rings on, uh, on top, you've got your grills, your 50 litre fridge, and your 19 litre storage. All right. I'm currently underneath the, uh, the wind out sunshade as well. The beef will actually go that little bit further, but they're perfect for taking the chairs underneath. So again, if you're out and about and you want to stop somewhere for a short while, sunshade is really good. Carry on all the way down. Testimonial van. So this is Kevin that showed you last week. They've got all of our customers, all of their reviews for Camp King, all over. We have a good review here, so if you haven't met this one, please do. We are on Google, Trustpilot, Facebook, the whole shooting match. And we've actually got the, uh, a few comments from some of our Camp King ambassadors, such as Jason Robinson, Joe Joyner. You know, these guys are in the camper vans now, absolutely loving it, buying into the lifestyle. And yeah, so obviously share all their experiences and comments on the van. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Right, follow me to this one. So, what we have here, chrome yellow, my favourite personal colour. We have a Le Mans model here, okay? So this is a short wheelbase van, comes in short wheelbase format only, okay? It's actually got all of the overwatch styling on this van as well. So you've got overwatch stickers, lowering, nicer wheels, splitters, side bars. So it's a really sporty looking package that this one comes with, and it's called an Overwatch Urban. Now that can be applied to a camper van, or it can be applied to a standard commercial vehicle, combi, shuffle bus, whatever you choose. We have an extra or double van, or it can be done prior to pick it up. So the modern version will do about this. Have a look in there. So, Le Mans. The first thing you'll see in the Le Mans is it will be three-seater bed in the back. Okay, so that's actually got three seat belts to the rear of the van. Okay, and of course, giving you the option of having three in the front as well. So, this is a six seat belted vehicle in short wheelbase format. Great for families who have tight parking, short driveways, or just prefer driving shorter vehicles. Inside, again, you get your 50 litre fridge and freezer. You actually get the three wine rack in there as well with the personality strip you can see in a slightly different colour. And because of the actual width of the bed, you come away from having a table that's on a rail to having three individual tables in the van. And these are fab because you can remove them, you can actually slide them out. So if you're sat outside the van itself, you can swing it out to have outside table storage as well. Really, really multi-purpose, multi-use. And uh, obviously they store in the van with built-in storage for long. Do you like projectors? Do you like movies? Going away in your van? Jess, you want me to have a look up in here then. It's all very calm. Yes. So this is actually the Portofino model we're in now, but what you're actually looking at is the projector screen upgrade that we've got in the van. Now that again, this can be done before you pick it up or it can be done as an aftermarket fit as well that we do offer here from Camping at HQ. A really good system that works off of Bluetooth, it works off of the mobile Wi-Fi you've got fitted. But in this particular example, we've actually hardwired the, uh, the projector into the van with storage so that you can continue watching films all day if it's raining and all night, it will not run out of battery provided you've got power source to the van. If you don't, and you're not on the power source, it will still run for about three hours. But it's a lovely way of actually getting comfortable in your van. You can just see it now, all cosied up. It's really nice. But back to the van. So this is a Portofino, okay? This is a, a one of a kind. It was a, it was a common trait in the industry that you couldn't put an oven in a camper van. So uh, we took that and we put one in a camper van and it now sits, been available now for about four or five years and it is our signature creme de la creme model that we do. 
very, very similar to the Le Mans in the sense that you get your wine racks in there and your personality strips, but you actually get a full oven in this particular van. So if you were brave enough to cook a full roast, you could do it in your camper. You get an extra ring on top for your burners. You get three burner ring on top. And underneath, you've actually got a drawer, which is your fridge as well. The Portofino will come put with additional 12 volt sockets, USBs and plug sockets, so that if you want to take additional cool boxes for your cooking, for all the products, absolutely you can do. You've got them inside and actually at the back of the van as well. If the projector screen's not for you, you've got the rock points in here. So these are actually mountable iPad holders that you can adjust, but you can have them at fixed whilst you're traveling. In this particular model, you've got three of them. You've got one just here, one just over here, and you will have one up top in the pop top, so when you're stationary. It's currently not there, obviously, because you've got a projector in the way at the moment. So the Portofino is available in long wheelbase format only. Again, it has a three-seater bed at the back, giving you the option to have a six-seat vehicle. Again, in this particular one, you've got two captain's chairs in the front. The extension cupboard on the end has actually got a chamfered edge to it, so it will allow you to swivel both the driver and the passenger seat, making it that little bit more comfortable. For me, my favourite model, but if it's in chrome yellow, I'd be laughing. <laughs> I'm going to take you into the last model we've got here, and that's the Santorini. So much like the Monte Carlo, the Santorini is one of the longest serving models we've had. But it's gone over, undergone a recent facelift, so we're asking the very first people to view this one. So have a look. This is one of them. At a later date, we'll take down the whole show, all the overwatch products, which are in the shop, the service department, the cafe that we've got in here as well. It's quite possible to cross over. Santorini. So, Santorini, an additional six seat vehicle, okay? Lots of families need lots of seat belts, especially if they're taking friends with you. So, the Santorini, the big things here is there is no oven and there is no grill. Okay, so if you want the vehicle that's got the storage, along with that, you have your two burner hot on top of the seat. You've got your 50 litre fridge and a freezer. Like everything that we do, it comes with colour coded fascia panels in here. Storage lockers just at the end, just in there as well. And plenty of storage in there. And again, much like the Le Mans, you've actually got brackets in each of the corners so that you can house tables for each individual person here. So this one's actually getting ready to come into the showroom. So this is going to have its finishing touches with the rock points on it. We're probably going to put a projector screen on this one as well and get it all set up ready for customers to view over the next few days. So Santorini, one of the longest serving models we've got. All the storage you can see in here. Okay. And then you've got plenty of depth in the cupboards just there. Okay. So that's the models. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of questions, so we're going to do a bit of a five or ten minute Q&A session now as well. So if you have any questions, and we've said them already, then I'm going to go through them and answer them to the best of my ability and uh, give you as realistic answers and uh, that, you can, uh, that you can give with some real life examples of stuff as well. So now's probably a good time to have a little wander across and answer some of those questions. Just the busiest sales manager in all of that. So, we've got Steve S uh, Z C T. Hi, to deliver a new Monte Carlo last week and just getting used to everything. Is there a grey water tank as water is coming straight out of the pipe beneath the vehicle? So the water coming out of the outside of the vehicle will either be overflow from where you've put water into the tank before you've travelled, okay? So you're always better off putting your water in once you arrive at your destination. The actual tank itself is hidden within your cupboards, okay? Um, it's, as the colour would go, probably whitish, greyish, I suppose. But the cap that you can see for the water is actually grey on the outside. So grey for grey waste. Now, most campsites will ask you to collect that grey waste. So therefore, a washing up bowl or anything like that will be a great trick to, to keep so that you can obviously dispose of the water where it needs to be. The one beauty, I suppose, of the camper van is the fact that 
the water really that you're using is for boiling the kettle. It's not for shower facilities, it's not for toilet facilities or anything like that. So I would say that's where the water will be coming from if it's coming out whilst driving. Or obviously if you empty the sink, it's going to run straight out your van there as well. So you just need to make sure that that cap is open to allow the water from freely. You got anything else? We've got plenty of people watching. Wayne Maisie, PJ Munro, Julie Magnell. What we've got here, Roy Betridge, Gemma Smith, Beverly Fisher, Judy Ford. Got to be some questions in there, guys. Anything left? In the meantime, whilst we're waiting, can we have a look at some of the different upholsteries, see what people like? So, upholstery options, come and have a quick close up. So you have your genuine Volkswagen upholsteries in here. Okay, so this is called titanium grid, often found on start line vehicles. And this one here is called titanium brick, often found on Highline vehicles. So that's what your van will come with as standard, but then you get the option to upgrade to some of the choices. So we have our beach range just in here. And the beach range will come with your greys and your blues, beiges. Cotswold range just in here. So these are fantastic if you want to go for your duck eggs or your sea grasses or your cappuccinos and lattes, things like those. Simon's favourite, we just said. If you prefer a nice Bentley or a diamond stitch, have a look at that. And this will come in as a complete vinyl set, or if you prefer a nice Alcantara finish, the Alcantara. This is nice, I like this. A bit cooler in the summer, a bit warmer in the winter. Going back to our Overwatch product, we've got plenty of different designs here with all the Overwatch in there. These are Camper King embossed, they're Overwatch embossed. It's a bit difficult, you might see from the camera. Do you like diamonds? Do you like squares? Do you like horizontal lines, vertical lines? Maybe you like something a little bit more heritage. Maybe you go for a hound's tooth. Good two questions. Okay. So we've got a question here from Emma. Hello, Emma. You said, I purchased my Saint Tropez model last year. Can you store your bedding in the pop top when the roof is down? The answer to your question, depending on how big your bedding is, that there is a void between the roof and the pop top when the roof is pulled down. So you have to be a bit wary that when you travel, that you're not putting any strain on the pop top roof. So that again, that is nice and flush. But yes, and that's the question, you can store bedding up there. You've just got to be a bit mindful that it's all laid out. And again, it's not, uh, it's not too heavy up there as well. So when you stop and you push your bed up, again, you've just got to be a little bit careful with the weight from the elevating bed so that doesn't fall down. But yes, your biggest storage item, arguably, your bed, in your bedding, in your pillows and stuff, absolutely, yeah, you can do that, no problem. The other people tend to vacuum pack them or roll them up and cable tie under the bed. Your choice. Club Camper King's got some great ideas, though, if you're a member of ours already. So ask the guys, and I'm sure they give you some great ideas for that. Here we go. Hello, Steve, uh, ZCT, me again. If we wanted to retrofit uh, one of the pitches, that's something we could drive up to you, lose ourselves for a while, and you fit it whilst we uh, wait, so to speak, or would it need to leave you for a few days? So it certainly doesn't take a few days to fit, but it will take a few hours. So if you drive up to us in the morning, perhaps you wanted to go shopping in Banbury, perhaps you want to go down to Bista and spend too much money and get carried away there. But yes, you can absolutely leave it with us and, and we'll get it sorted. And you can either get it set initially non-hardwired in, and that won't take too long at all. But if you do want to get it all done with a 12 volt, you know, into the sockets, then yeah, I'd say that would take a good few hours. And that would then depend varying on the model that you have. So I'd get in contact with our service team on service at camperking.co.uk, and uh, we can certainly uh, look after you there. Cool. Any other questions, guys? Simon did ask, what's your favorite conversion and why? So, favourite conversion, my favourite conversion, Portofino. It's got to be Portofino. It's different. I, uh, I've got a little boy, and I can just see myself whenever I, uh, I go away with him. That it's. Uh, I usually tend to travel to the furthest distance, of course. Get that way, keep going until I can see the sea. So normally when I get there, it's probably late at night. So if I want something, I can just chuck a pizza in and be done with it. For me, that's sold the Portofino to me all day long. That and the fact that I'm not exactly small, so slightly wider bed for me. That'll do me nicely. Then we had a question from Max as well, which is what's the difference in size between a longboard base and a shortboard base? 
So the answer to that is 40 centimetres. So the short wheelbase is 4.8 metres, whereas the long wheelbase is 5.2 metres. So not huge, not enough for you to be charged additionally on a ferry or a toll charge. Quite frankly, not big enough to make a difference when you're in a Tesco's car park either. Um, but what it will give you, you know, is, is that difference. So if you've got a smaller drive or you've got multiple vehicles on the drive, it is something that's worth considering, especially if you have something like the bike rack that's on the back of your van as well. So let's see what else we got. So what's the one actually you would recommend on a van? The first thing I'd recommend on my van, as I've told many people, is the diesel heater. Diesel heater for me, uh, worth every single penny. It's you would, what's the best way you can say this? You're gonna use your van all year round if you've got a diesel heater. And even in our summer months, as nice as they can be during the day, come four or five o'clock, it can get a little bit cold and you can preset the diesel heaters as well. So to have that nice ambient temperature throughout the night, absolutely fine. I've been lucky enough to go through some cold countries. I've slept at the base of Mont Blanc in Switzerland. That was cold, um, but diesel heater, no problem. T-shirt and shorts. What else we got? So we've got... Got a question uh, from PJ Monroe. PJ Monroe. Are all your campers made to order or do you have camper vans in stock waiting to be sold? Just asking, as VW lead times are absurd. Yes, they are absurd. Uh, I've got plenty of vans on order and they're taking far too long to turn up, but I can't do anything about that. But the good news is I buy lots and lots and lots of vans. So uh, I've got about 40 vans in stock currently for you to pick and choose from. And I do have vans coming through, so it's not like there's no supply. I have got vans coming through, so if you'd like to make an appointment, we can show you around the configurator lounge, we can spec it up, we can make it completely individual to you with your own little touches. Absolutely. But if you'd rather have one now, ready, guaranteed for the summer, you only need to have a look on our website, camperking.co.uk. Loads of choice. Keep your eye on that website as well because that is being updated daily. We have a factory that will produce anything up to 25 camper vans per week. So we've got a lot of vans coming through for us, for all of our dealers and partners that are all over the country as well. So if you type Camp King into Google, you'll see loads of options. Uh, but be quick, because we are very, very busy, as you can imagine, have been for the last couple of years. Let's take what we can get. What else we got? A few more people joining us. Martin Sanders, recognize that, that, that name. Hello, Martin. Francis Matthews, loving my longwood base upgrade in Santorini style. Feels way more than 40 centimeters on the inside and barely any more when driving. Perfect, so not coming from me, that's coming from an existing customer. Uh, and I must say, absolutely couldn't agree with you more. Hence why my model is a Portofino, which is a long wheelbase. I'd have it because it's storage all day long. Uh, they are traditionally a little bit harder to get hold of. There's not so many of them out there. So just make sure that what you can get is available. Uh, and of course, make sure it's the right price as well, because when there's not many out there, the prices do tend to go up quite severely. Phil Marchant, again, another recognised name. Can you bespoke embroider into the headdress or is it just your own themes? Yes, the answer to the question is you can bespoke embroider into headdress. There are companies out there that do it. It is something that we can do for you as well. So if you want a business branding logo, you want a camping logo, VW logo, names, whatever you want, picture your dog, then, uh, then yeah, absolutely. Send us the artwork, send us what you need and we'll get a quote up for that one and, uh, and let you know for definite how long it will take, how much it will be, and if we can actually definitely do it. But 99% of the time, yeah, we can. So we've got Stephen Good, Emma Smith, PJ Monroe, no problem, you're absolutely welcome. Who else have we got? Any more questions, guys? I've got plenty of answers. Da -da -da. Steve's NCT, don't forget to join Club Camp King. Please do join Club Camp King. It is a fantastic way to uh, to join the community that is Club Camp King. Plenty of ideas, plenty of little hacks, plenty of places to go if you've not actually got any ideas on good campsites and what to expect from them. Really good soundboard for that as well. And uh, no question too silly either, because I guarantee if you feel like you're going to make a mistake, someone has already made that mistake. And I'm probably one of them anyway from my camper van. So, uh, so absolutely get on, uh, get on board with that as well. To the price changes in April. Max Gardner, Summer Beckett. What's my favourite alloy wheel? Oh, that's a good one. I would say, currently, the Momo Revenge down here. I'm a big fan of this one down here. Just this one here, so that's the Momo. I would have it in a 20 inch wheel format, but it can come in an 18 inch wheel as well, like most of the wheels that we do have. 
and I would possibly go for it in a complete matte black with my chrome yellow band in my Portofino. Waiting time from order to hand over at the moment. It can vary depending on the size uh, and the um, spec that you're going for. But we will quote eight to 10 weeks uh, based on receipts of the vehicle. It is a little bit sooner than that at the moment. It's more kind of six uh, at the moment. But again, it all does depend on what we're doing. Does it need much in the way of paint work? Are we doing nice little tweaks for color coded on the caps? Um, but about six, eight, 10 weeks, somewhere in that sort of arena. It's good, our lead times are, are really good at the moment. We've got great supply parts. And of course, vans, as, you've, uh, as you as already know. Hello, Jessica Aldous. Hello, Jody Brotherton. Another name I recognise. Pudsey, the best headrest embroidery I've seen. Thank you, Jody. That's uh, that's a car fest special, that one. Uh, we've done a couple of those, but there's a couple of Pudsey vans out there. Some great ambassadors for Campy King of the Pudsey vans as well. That's uh, that's great. Car fest has been very, very good for, uh, for making sure that uh, children in need is looked after. And, uh, and it puts a great show on as well at Carfest, North and South, of course. Uh, have a look in. Kevin Baldwin. Hello, Kevin. Uh, do we have to make an appointment to visit the showroom? Uh, and answer the question, no, you can pop along and see us, um, although it is advisable to do so. So if you're on a whim thinking, I'll just pop down there, absolutely. You're always welcome to here with a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and you can, of course, look around the entire show and the vans and all of the vans that we've got outside. But if you do want to have a good chat with somebody and, and dig a little bit deeper into your camp van, get that journey started, absolutely yeah. book an appointment with the sales team. We've got plenty of people here. Simon, as you saw earlier, he's the sales manager. Um, and obviously we've got you know four or five sales guys here amongst everyone else who's completely up to speed with all the product, all the knowledge, any questions, or if you want to have a good chat, then absolutely, we're all here. Good to go. So, final thing then, any more questions? I think we're about, uh, I think we're about done, so get your last questions in. And, uh, and of course, if you've got any other questions, you know, we are still here to answer them, so please do keep sending them in. And if we don't get round to answering those questions, we will come back to you. Um, we've got inquiry forms on the website as well, so if you are interested, please do fill that in. We'll fill your details in, we'll give you a call, get you booked in, come and see us, come and have a look at the vans, come and test drive one. We do a try before you buy as well. So Steve, who runs our rentals team, has got a fleet of rental vans that if you wanted to take one away for the weekend just to see if it's your cup of tea or not, great. Take that, pay for your weekend's rental, and if you come back and buy one because you love it so much, then we'll reimburse the cost of that rental for you against your purchase. But if you come back and go, whoa, dodge the bullet there, then absolutely, it's just cost your rental, and it's a nice risk-free way for you doing it in your own time, in your own environment, and with the family. Any good? Any last questions? Kevin, you're welcome, no problem. Hopefully, uh, you guys have all found that nice and informative. Um, if there's any questions, again, send them across. Hopefully we'll hear from you soon. For now, I'm going to dash. I'm going to go home. I'll see you guys soon. See you later.